Market City, the center of freshness. Join us on a journey of change, growth and development as we look back at its humble beginnings and then to the future of fresh food supply in Western Australia and the exciting opportunities that it brings for Market City, its people and the wider industry and community. Markets have historically been critical to food supply, even in the early 1900s. Perth's first markets began in the heart of the CBD, located on the corner of William and Wellington Street. Due to congestion issues, the markets had to move, and in 1926, the Metropolitan Market Trust was established to administer the new markets in Wellington Street, West Perth, which opened in 1929. Perth developed quickly and it grew out of the West Perth market facility which housed the hustle and bustle of the market trade for 60 years. In 1989, the Wellington Street markets were closed and the new facility in Canning Vale was opened. 15 years ago, we, we, we came in the markets as a wholesaler and then uh, as a retailer as well. I go around and, and buy produce for our stores, for our spudge heads. Every day of the week, I'm in the market. Smiths have been in the markets for about 37 years. We've got three generations working here. During that time, we've moved from the uh, West Perth markets and now in the Canning Vale markets. For, and uh, yeah, business is going well and uh, we all enjoy working together. The introduction of just electronics in the sense of uh, how we operate, we're a lot more efficient these days than what we were uh, 25 years ago. So Fresh Provisions deals in the markets Five days a week we're down here selecting our produce. We like dealing direct with the markets only. Best thing about being located in the markets is that every day we come to work and something different will happen because of um, supply and demand and climatic conditions, what's happening socially. We come to work and we do the same sort of thing every day, except we do it in a different way. The markets is a very dynamic place to come to. You're here in the mornings, you're competing with other buyers to get the best gear. You're also competing with the salesman to make sure you're not paying as high a price as possible. They'd all like you to pay as much as possible, you want to pay as little as possible. Being good at your jobs, finding that middle ground, getting good gear at reasonable prices. The guys are a good bunch of people, we all get on each other's toes at times. But at the end of the day, we all get on well, we've all been here a long time and it's a great environment to work in. There's been a lot of, lot of changes, a lot of cultural change. You know, back in the days, you know, probably you can quite comfortably say it was about, you know, 80%, you know, a lot of Italians, Greeks, Macedonians, and there wasn't many Australians, there was a few. But now you look at it, that, that culture's changed. It's all mainly, you know, a lot of the, the Asian cultures come in, a lot of the Middle Eastern come in, and uh, a lot of the old Italians and Macedonians, there's not many of us left, or most of them all retired. And uh, it's, there was a lot of, you know, before in the old days, there was a lot of character in the markets. It was more of a different culture it was. Now it's changed. I can see the changes, especially in the last 10 years, drastically. Everybody's more serious. When before it was like an outing, people used to come here and like, like a meeting place. Around the world, markets have similar common factors, but each market represents the city's character and unique culture, which can be seen from the West Perth markets to Market City today as the community of growers, wholesalers and retailers come together to trade fresh produce in the early hours of the morning each day. The new market facility known as Market City, located in Canning Vale, was designed with modern features structured around forklift and truck movements, cool chain requirements and technology. This marked the beginning of an era and a change in market culture that evolved, resulting from shorter working hours and later morning starts due to technology improvements. Change from auction to private treaty. Horse and cart to refrigerated trucks. Manual labour to forklifts. And cash payment to credit service facilities. The markets have now evolved into an efficient marketing, cool chain storage and logistics distribution facility that supplies fresh produce to consumers throughout the state. The Market City complex is situated on 51 hectares of land. Located on site are over 100 diverse businesses, including fresh produce wholesalers, a meat and seafood wholesaler, retailers, business service companies, restaurants and cafes, food processors, transport and crate hire companies. 
A number of the businesses from the West Perth market relocated to Market City, including the fish market, which remains as the only auction left in Western Australia. The auction system actually hasn't changed since its inception. We've got fishermen who supply us from the south of the Esperance uh, right through to Kununurra, uh, with fish being transported down to Perth and we auction it on their behalf. So we're actually uh, auctioning it on a commission basis for the benefit of the fishermen. And um, we have to attract buyers from all over the, the Perth metropolitan area. Um, today we have buyers from traditional fish and chip shop owners right through to restaurateurs and hoteliers who come in to select fresh seafood for their daily and, and weekly requirements. Some businesses have changed names, ownerships, and others remain within the same family. Evolving from the Metropolitan Trust, the Perth Market Authority manages and operates the Market City Complex and is focused on maintaining operational excellence in all areas of business operation, striving to make Market City the preferred location for doing business for all involved in the horticulture supply chain. The Perth Market Authority is also focused on supporting and growing the industry. With over 50% of WA's fruit and vegetable supply traded through the Market City complex, the Perth Market Authority recognises the importance of stakeholders such as growers and buyers who are integral to the market system. Supply of fresh produce into the markets comes from over 400 growers locally, plus interstate and overseas suppliers, with over 600 buyers visiting the markets daily to purchase fresh produce for retail stores, restaurants and food service outlets across the state. The retail customer base of the markets are supported through retailer development programs and marketing support campaigns for independent retailers, such as the Great Green Grocer, a marketing campaign that has been successfully running since October 2013. The growers are also recognised as important stakeholders and the Perth Market Authority undertakes annual regional visits to engage with local growers and facilitates grower visits and tours through the market to encourage use of the market system and better linkages between supplier, wholesaler and buyer. To assist small businesses and industry grow, the Perth Market Authority has a master plan concept which is being updated as infrastructure developments are completed on site. In line with the master plan, PMA has recently commissioned a $10 million fire suppression system invested $3.44 million for backup power generators to provide continuous power supply for tenants, and $9.5 million in new cool chain warehouse facilities that will assist new businesses enter the market and existing businesses grow. The markets also play a significant role in supporting the community. Over 8,000 people attend the weekend markets at Market City each week, and on Sundays, a chef entertains and educates the public, providing free tastings and interactive cooking demonstrations on how to cook delicious recipes with seasonal fruit and vegetables. With world population expected to reach over 9 billion by 2050, the focus on how our agricultural production will meet the demand for food is becoming more important. Western Australia has vast areas of land and abundant areas of underutilised water resources that have potential to meet the growing demand for food. Western Australia's clean and green image, underpinned by its biosecurity status and strict regulatory regime to maintain this environment, provides consumers with confidence that the food produced in WA is safe and high quality. To drive this economic opportunity, the government has focused on firstly identifying reliable water resources and available land for new irrigated agriculture precincts. These include the Ord, West Kimberley, Pilbara and Gascoigne. The WA government has invested and continues to invest significantly through royalties for regions and other initiatives in developing critical infrastructure including roads, dams, drainage and pipelines to supply water to expand agricultural development in these precincts. The Ord River in the north is one of WA's most significant waterways and the fertile soils are ideal conditions for farming and horticulture industries. The development of a new irrigation channel in 2012 with the potential to supply 30,000 hectares of farming land has opened up great opportunity for fresh food production in the north. 
In the Pilbara region, located south of the Kimberley, surplus water from mining is being used for irrigated agriculture, presenting new opportunities for agricultural production in traditionally arid, hot, dry climatic conditions. The Gascoigne is already an important horticultural producing region for WA, with a thousand hectares currently producing a hundred million dollars worth of produce annually. The government's expansion and land release of a further 400 hectares will see more high quality produce coming from this region. The development of these regional food production precincts will result in additional food supply that requires a marketing, cool chain storage and distribution channel that can handle supply and potential for export. The Market City Complex is the perfect destination to handle the forecast increase in food supply, with 12 hectares of additional land available for development. This land is ready for development, with the construction of site servicing infrastructure, including a high voltage connection, water, sewerage, drainage and communication networks. The Perth Market Authority's master plan outlines the capacity for up to 18 multi-use cool chain buildings that can be developed on this land, and it's envisaged that this expansion will be funded through public-private partnerships with participants that have long-term interest in the growth of WA's fresh food sector. As WA continues to be flagged the food bowl for Asia, planning has begun on Western Fine Foods, a concept to house an export hub at Market City. The hub will consist of a state-of-the-art cool chain warehouse capacity to facilitate storage and distribution of food to be exported to Asia or globally. Also planned on site is the development of additional infill land to benefit the food industries and facilitate exports, including potential to develop an office tower containing laboratory facilities for research and quarantine purposes. These exciting new developments will bring investment into the economy, assist small businesses, including growers, and diversify and grow the state's food supply chain. Since the early 1900s, wholesale markets remain pivotal to the supply of food to the community. The wholesale markets located at Market City have evolved into a modern hub of fresh produce traders, retailers, and related service providers, which makes it the center of freshness. Looking to the future, the Market City complex will continue to have a pivotal role in the supply chain and is ready to handle the changing requirements of businesses and WA's growing agriculture, fisheries and food capacity.